guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right i know the title kind of speaks for it for itself let's do a quick round robin because i know i'm gonna get questions on it and then we'll get into my new closet okay let's get into all right first and foremost my hair i got a lot of questions at the beginning and i realized that with the last couple of videos i haven't really shown my natural hair this is my natural hair <laughs> no clip-ins no wig this is a wash and go i linked the, all the products that i used in the previous video i will link them again the shampoo and the conditioner i only use two products for my wash and go because they're holy grails love those um my lips let's see i went ahead and pulled the details because i really love it i picked this lip combination up at ulta when me and kiosha went to nashville i think that vlog it's either already going out and it's going to go out on Thursday. Um, but yeah, so I picked this up. This is, they're both by NYX. It's the lip liner in dark red. And it's, this is their new matte lippy. So this is their smooth whip and it is in color chocolate mousse. I thought this was a good, really dark color for fall and winter. This is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is just a knit dress i think it's a sweater but i got it really oversized so i got it in like an extra large because i wanted to wear it as like an oversized sweater if i wanted to cuff it or as a sweater with a pair of like knee boots so i got that of course all of my jewelry is my own um what else those are my earrings those are my earrings faux nails i will link um i just did a tutorial on it on one of my most recent vlogs i can't remember which one but i'll link the instagram video that has the details as well i think that's it okay let's get into the video okay so if you guys watch it was a couple of vlogs ago i don't remember <laughs> which one we had someone from california closets come out and give us an estimation of basically how to redo the closet because while i am in love with this house there were some things that i knew that i wanted to eventually get done and the closet was one of those like it wasn't really it wasn't it was just rods thrown up there wasn't even any details i'm like for the price of this house it needs to be better than this so i knew that i wanted to upgrade it so when she came out gave us an estimate i want to say it was around like 10 or eleven thousand dollars i was like ugh really don't want to pay this but i mean if this if this is my only option to get a nice closet i guess i will do it and then i started doing what i always do when i can't sleep late at night thinking and i was like hmm well why can't i just do a ikea closet like i did some version you guys saw my claw office in my previous house i did i put all that together and we just kind of like left it there because the sellers requested it so i was like why can't i just do the same thing here of course it'll be on a bigger scale because there's like more space here but i can just do the same thing so um i went the ikea route because i knew that my best friend kiosha would be able to help me put it together and that's what we have here so let me give you guys a couple of like details on like what i bought exactly the dimensions kind of roughly on how much i paid for because i had to do two separate orders and then we're going to do a quick tour and wrap this video up um so the actual that i tell you this is the pax wardrobe i feel like everybody that's doing an ikea does the packs it's popular once you put one together it's kind of easier to put the rest of them together so i got the ikea pax closet i got 529 inch so these bigger these larger sizes over here these are the 29 inches and i got 29 and then i got 92 inches tall so these are really really tall and even though they're really really tall i still have a ton of like space to be able to put stuff on top so we have some storage up there i don't really know how tall my ceilings are but now that i know that they're way more than 92 inches tall i don't really remember i know that there's probably details in the listing I wasn't really paying attention to it. I just know they're really tall. So I got five of those. And then we got three of the 19, which I don't know if you guys can see, but it's the smaller ones over here. And once again, those go all the way up to the 92 inches. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. Of course, we have shelves throughout. We have rods throughout. And then we have a couple of pull out trays for our accessories so the total for that if i'm including both orders you're looking at one thousand eight hundred and fifty three dollars which compared to the eleven thousand that i was gonna have to pay that's a deal so um like i said absolutely love it did take us it took us about a day um when i say us me and kiosha so she came over i treated her to brunch that day to kind of be like sorry they're gonna be sore tomorrow so we went to lunch earlier that day 
and then um, came and I think we started on the closets. I want to say 1 32 o'clock and we finished absolutely everything around like nine something. So it took two people roughly about about seven hours to put it to put everything together and we did a little bit of trial and error like we had one railing and then we had to change it out so it was a little trial and error also this was my first time putting it together so I had to watch her put it together for a little while before I got like used to like what I know what I'm doing but once we put once we started we got in like a groove like it was like once once she had to teach me we were going through them pretty well because we had to put like eight of these things together and then we had to put them in here and then we had to reconfigure them and then put the rods together and then put the drawers together so it took a little while so like i said it took two of us about seven hours um what else and i love it like i i sit in here i have my coffee right here i use my phone and i'm just in here you know, getting ready or even, I told Kiyosha, I was like, I just need like a little, if I can find the smallest like ottoman, like in this area, I might just stay in here because it's, it's a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. I'm very excited about it. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling. Let's do the full tour and then let's okay, wrap so up. All right, here. so walking into And this is what you first see. Uh, obsessed okay let's go over here on this side because this is my area um so i've got a 29 inch and a 19 inch over here fit perfectly there is a little crease over here and i actually like that because it's hiding you guys can't tell but it's hiding a four-step ladder and that is because these are really really tall 92 inches to be exact so i'm okay reaching some of those with my little step stool but for all of those up there, I need a ladder because <laughs> I am only 5'4". So I love that I'm able to have all this extra space. Like these are 92 inches. I have those stacked three and I still have probably a good foot up there. So these are really tall ceilings. Um, so yeah, I have my clothes here. Of course, I did a little bit of color coordination. Um, I have a dress drawer down there that I have some hoodies and then a little bit of leftover jeans. Of course, you guys know the crease in there is the ladder. I've just got my Fitbit charge right now and then these are my other two once again I have a 29 inch and then a 19 so this is holding um, dresses long cardigans and then this is holding blazers and a couple of short jackets I have of course four drawers right here um, lingerie or you know underwear <laughs> undergarments um and then i think that's just like some crop tops and then these are two are holding like sets because you guys know how i am about a matching set it's a little bit of an obsession but and i love that they're soft clothes i don't think i mentioned that so yeah that's what i have going on here i have two so i got four drawers i have two pullouts so that's just holding probably about 95% of my jewelry. And then this is my sunglasses collection. And then these are just drawer liners. Like I was gonna get the actual like things to hold the sunglasses, but realize they don't make enough. Like I, there will never be enough to hold my sunglasses. So I was just, Kiyosha was like, just get the velvet liner and that way they won't move. And most of them don't move except for these. And I think that's because they're just too big. So I might just move those out and put those somewhere else because they don't even like to stand still. Like that's normally what I have to do in order to keep them to stand still. But it's not aesthetically pleasing when I was doing this video. So I turned it over and it's still not acting right. Anyway, so that's that. And then the only thing that wouldn't fit there is all of my, of course, my bracelets. So I just have that. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it below. But I just have that sitting back here. And it has like all of my beaded bracelets. But I got that from Amazon. And then the jewelry insert I also got from Amazon. So I'll link those for you below um but yeah love this those shoe things i also got from amazon so i'll link it so this is my space all right now let's get into his space so he actually has two 29 inches over here because he has a lot of shit no in my defense he basically hangs 90 percent of his clothing and i don't so that's why he needed more double rods so he has double rods up here double rods down here he has because his pants are a little short all of his cologne is sitting up here and of course he had to have it nice and organized he did I, we didn't, i didn't do this for the video i just want to let y'all know this this cologne setup this is already done like this so he's just as anal as i am okay and then he's got his watches we got the watch thing from 
um, Amazon because I love Ikea, but they want too much for inserts. So I think these are like 20 bucks a piece. Of course, you can clearly tell his watch collection, he needs it. And then we have some jewelry pullouts here. And then he has his sunglass slash glasses collection here. So that's where he has his stuff. And then on this side, we have a 29 inch and a 19. And what I love the fact that this is 92 inches is that he can have three rows of pant space, which of course, like I said, he needs because he hangs the majority of his stuff. And then he has this double hanging space over here. This, we have tried to get this out and it will not come out. And I don't want, like, the only way to come out is to, like, put a hole. So, for right now, it's going to stay until I figure out a way to get this raggedy rod out of here <laughs> and not mess up my freaking wall. And then, only thing we have up here is we have a couple of, like, bins. And then, I got these from Amazon. And then, I even got the containers from Amazon as well or, like, the labels. That way, I kind of know what's in there since they literally all look the same. And then the only thing that's over here, this has nothing to do with Ikea. This is his shoe stash. So I want you guys to notice. That's my coffee. You see how, I don't know. I just, I like that it's like over here, not in the way. But I wish that he would put them in like these. But apparently the shoe boxes, especially the Jordans, you have to keep the shoe boxes. So he's keeping the shoe boxes. The only thing that makes me happy is so that when I look at it like this, I can't see it. It's kind of like off in no man's land. Like if I don't turn here, I'm just happy <laughs> over here. But that is our closet. Oh yeah. And I got the rug from Amazon and I'm just waiting on like the rug. What do you call it to go under? Rub gripper, rub rug something so this doesn't move <laughs> but that's coming any day now but anyway so this is our master closet all right so do you love it am i the only one that's like obsessed with my i'm obsessed with my closet i'm <sighs> even with husband and all his different color shoe boxes i don't even pay attention because i don't even see that when i first walk in this is what i see when i first walk in and this makes me happy i don't even i didn't even look on that <laughs> I don't even look on that side i have tried to get him to go with like a, you, the ones that i have i said hey they have them in clear or you can get them in black i've tried y'all know how like in some arguments you know you can win with your husband and some that you just like don't even try this was a don't even try i tried and the look on his face was like okay well let me find something else to argue about because i'm clearly not, not gonna win with this one but I hope you guys have enjoyed this mini closet tour. I decided to go ahead and do this because I'm probably going to start recording a couple of reels in here or just like when I do like vlogs with you guys like a day in the life, I'll probably will come in here and get dressed and I don't want you guys saying, I know you did not upgrade your closet and didn't tell us. So this is me telling y'all closet has been upgraded. So when you see it in the vlog and be like, oh my God, I didn't know you upgraded your vlog, your, your closet. I can just slide this video in. <laughs> So hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have reached this part of the video, you have not subscribed, but please don't forget to subscribe. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from me. While you're here, guys, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and do all the things that the other YouTubers tell you to do. And I'm gonna catch you guys next Sunday, seven o'clock. Later.